Hello all and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alicia um, and today we are going to do a gifts haul for my family. They have sent some stuff for Miss Ma'am, Miss Madison. Oh sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and review those with you. Majority of it is clothes um, and then this here is something that I was gifted or one I would say so I'm gonna go through all of that um just quick update I am currently now 35 weeks yay me and we have roughly five to four weeks left to go um it's more looking like four weeks than it is five um I am now suffering horribly from heartburn to where I have to vomit in order for the heartburn to die down so Last night, nonetheless, was this, the same situation. Horrible heartburn, had to vomit. Then finally got a little bit of back, back pain and then sat in this chair. And finally got up and went in bed and got a little bit of rest. Another thing that is high on the symptom list is frequent urination. I am peeing my life away. And it's not even like a good empty bladder. It's just, it's the urge and Madison don't like it so she will kick and move her head which will press down on that 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 bladder and make me want to go to the bathroom even more which aggravates me and then I go and it's like trickle 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 and I'm like for real all this discomfort for just a trickle why y'all could let that over there somewhere it's pissing me off but um that's some of the symptoms that you will have to go through with pregnancy. And I understand that because I'm down to the wire. We're, we're almost nine months now, so I get it, but it's frustrating. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you some stuff that I have received and some stuff that I have gotten for her. There's some more stuff that should be coming from one of my friends next week. So I may hop on here when doing something else and just review what, what they have received, what they have sent us as well. Um, I I can't thank my family, God, my friends, above all, because literally we were doing this by ourselves. And I'm a planner, so I was trying to get everything that I needed for this little one so that I'm prepared for labor and delivery. And God opened the clouds of blessings and we've been blessed with more than enough um there's a couple of things that still need to get like i said my friend says she might pick up some of that some of that stuff so i'm just grateful and i want to share my blessings with you guys so i'll be right back <music> Alright, I'm back. So please, 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 before we go any further, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Mm -mm. Sorry, y'all. That was my eyelash, <laughs> my lip. Um, but anyway, so you can subscribe to the channel and be updated on whatever else is happening. A lot is will be happening, like I said, throughout this time. Um, I will be decorating her nursery or her shared nursery. It's not gonna be much shelves will go here and her name will go on the wall over there um the final final nursery tour will happen a little bit later um it's not gonna be much because you've seen everything you see me put everything together so it's not really like to be seen and you're seeing all her clothes being put away as well so it's not much but it's for us and we're gonna show you anyway and then of course labor and delivery um like i said i'm 35 weeks only have four to five weeks left to go so i was ready but let's get right into this little haul so first i'm going to go through this the this is a little bit of stuff that i bought just to update you guys um i bought her her hat that she's gonna wear in the hospital or out the hospital it is a white hat but it has silk on the inside to protect her little head i think that is 
needed for especially babies of color and um even if you're not a baby of color it protects that that cradle cap that happens when you keep rubbing their they keep rubbing the heads on their beds the seatbelt with their heads on um, on their back so their heads are just constantly doing this and usually you get that little bald ring <laughs> around the sides so this will be able to protect her head and she'll be okay i'm looking into getting her a bonnet but i also know bonnets can be very restricting here on their heads from experience um so i don't know if that's something that i would want to put on her right right now i think maybe a little when she gets a little bit older it's something i would use but for right now i don't think it's something that's a necessity um next is her lotion and her soap like i told you guys i use a vino on my children i got this soap at sam's club so she has two i need to get one more of these so that we are good to go um but yeah i use a vino on my children because their skin is really sensitive and a vino seems to work really well with my children's skin i've tried other things before just to be like oh maybe this baby is different or maybe something might be different and it's never so i'm just like just from out the gate i'm just gonna use my vino and move forward because why not next thing i'm gonna go through not this box yet i'm gonna go through the clothes last is this breast pump that i won from my doctor's office my doctor's office is better than yours um i won this from my doctor's office i've had this this um breast pump before i had it with my daughter i don't know if you can see it i've had it with my daughter um i don't necessarily like this one um it's not my personal preference um but i'm willing to try again i do have my breast pump for my insurance coming at the end of this month and I will do a detailed unboxing with that and what's in it and then I will definitely compare the two. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or give it away um, but if you need a breast pump let me know down in the comments down below if you don't mind this one. A lot of our insurances um, have breast pumps but or give free breast pumps but um, if you do not have access to that, just let me know. I have it here and I'm not gonna open it. I, like I said, I've had it before. It's not my favorite, but it's something that I want and I appreciate from my doctor's office, so I'm not mad at it. Next is this bouncy chair. See it there? It's a cute little bouncy chair. Um, I don't know if my mom or my aunt or both bought this or if my cousins bought this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, based off the thank you conversation I had with my aunt, it seems like my cousin is still in the process of buying stuff. So I know there's another box coming for this little girl. So Lord help me and this child and the amount of clothes this girl's going to have. But um, I'm not sure if my mom got this or not. She is very inquisitive to see what it looks like and if, if i liked it so i'm assuming she either bought it it had someone help her buy it online because she's not an online person um but yes thank you bouncy chairs or these type of chairs are so 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 useful especially if you have a spouse that only gets vacation time for their um their paternal leave or maternal leave or if they only get six weeks for their maternal or paternal leave and um i said paternal and paternal maternal and paternal leave and then you're left home by yourself um to be able to navigate life um in your home as a not with someone with a baby attached um bounces are necessary with my both my, both my kids if I, if I was home alone I'll put them in that chair, sit them in front of the bathroom so I can take a shower, use the bathroom, or get just get, get a break from holding them, you know? So these are very useful. I love it. I'm grateful for it, especially because I work from home. It's something I will definitely use. Sorry, guys, I had a cough. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. All right. The next, I don't think you can see this in this, this, 
screen it's just a box so. but the next thing i'm not even gonna lift it Leave right over there it's the play pen so i'm gonna put a picture of it right here the play pen that was given to us is a play pen that's more so for a toddling oh my gosh the the burping this morning lord oh um it's for more so for a toddling baby a crawling baby um it's big enough that i can go in it and sit in with the baby or her sisters can go in and sit in it with her um i think it's really cute i'm gonna get some more accessories for it like a abc mat abcd mat um some balls some let's just put some play like play corners so like when she gets older i put it together and that's where she can entertain herself until like i'm on a break or something you know um because i am unfortunate i not unfortunately i work from home so i do need that time just to to work versus you know toddling playing with the baby but anyway that's neither here nor there i'm very appreciative i think it's really cute um i wished it was a mobile one where you can like pack it up and put it away but it, from reviews it looks like it's one that you can't do that with so it's basically stationary or you have to take it all the way apart pack it up and then bring it with you and then put it back all back together which is doable if like we're going to like piedmont park or something you know what i mean and we want something to do and we want them to be comfortable it's doable but she me her may not be doing that team too heavy anyway now down to the clothes Whew, i'm out of breath y'all i'm gonna sit back up give me some more room my my space let me back you guys up just a little bit sorry all right so first things first is the box for my aunt um i put them in order of their sizes because I don't know if they realized how large she was going to be or possibly can be. Um, hold on, my daughter's coming in. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you eat something? You need to go eat something. Thank you and brush your teeth. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I don't know if they realized how big she was going to be or is going to be, but they did buy me some newborn stuff. Um, the first things that my aunt bought that were newborn are these long sleeve onesies. My favorite part about these onesies though is that they have the cuff here that you can roll over. Because I'm not a mitten person because the mittens never fit. Let's see there. It's like a footsie. The mittens never fit and it's just it does I don't like them. So I actually prefer the ones with the, the onesies or the sleepers with that little cuff there. So she bought one, two, three, four of those. I'm still gonna wash them. I probably will bring one or two to the hospital. Well, no, because they have the button down one. Yeah. IDK. We'll, we'll make use of them. If not, then I'll just, uh, they'll be washed and put away for somebody that needs them, All right? Next, she got some bibs that go with some headbands. All right, Wait, is there more? The hat, okay. All right, cool. Here goes the headband here, it's really cute. And the matching bib. So I love these bandana bibs. They're great for newborns because newborns aren't drooling as heavy so the, the the bibs I got, you can hear, you hear that crunchy in there. They're for babies that are, they're, they're, they're drooling down or milk is coming out, you know what I mean? So um, it will protect their neck from chafing because they will get like a, a milk rash around there. And I feel like these, because their newborns are not drooling like that, these work well. So here's the second bib and the headband that goes with it she also i'm taking off stickers because i'm washing these things as we go and we'll put them in the basket as we go she also got this hat with mittens that i can't i don't like but i appreciate it nonetheless with mittens she probably won't use these but the hat's really cute 
Next, make sure I got them in order. I think she got mainly three months left after that, I believe. Okay. And also, so Georgia, October, November, even sometime to December, because our winter, our Christmas was really warm. Um, we stay in the 70s, the mid to low 70s. So because we are originally from Boston, mid to mid 70s is pretty hot. Um, not necessarily here in Georgia. I think now that we have shaken off our snow boots and we're here in Georgia, like Georgia does get cold. It's just not as cold as Boston. She got this little outfit, a short sleeve. So I'm like, maybe I can fall it up with like a sweater or something. Cause this is way too cute not to have her put her in. And the colors are absolutely gorgeous and I love the colors. My daughter had a similar outfit when she was two. And I think this is just adorable, period. Um, but look at the detail on that shirt. It's so cute. So I'm like, maybe I'll just get a sweater or something and put it on over her. Then she also bought this other outfit. Here's the pants, cute little pants. And the top, I love the tops. The tops are absolutely beautiful. And she's a chocolate baby, so these colors are gonna pop on her poor little skin. It's gonna be so pretty. These are absolutely adorable. It's from the, the brand Little Beginnings. And it's a sweet little blessing. This is so cute, so cute. And she got another short outfit. All of these are in three months from Disney. Here's the top and the bottoms. And this one came with it too. Little mini, she's been a mini girl. She has a little mini, miniature mini in her crib right now. And the bottoms. Another outfit, this one's more fallish. So I'm like, okay, she can wear this at any time. This is also three months, right? Yep. This little top, it's adorable. My favorite color with the bottoms. Very cute. And then she got two more onesies. This one is plain pink. This one is the heart pink that goes with that um that hat. And then lastly, another little beginnings, a fleece sleeper, which will do well if it gets cold. All right. Next is the box from my mama. My mom said the box, I tell you, a box, a box, a box. And like I said, I put them in order from newborn on up. So first things first is the ex ex accessories. Lord, accessories. All right. She got a bib set. Let me pick them all up. That goes with two headbands. So here goes the bibs. These are also more so for like a three-monther, four-monther. Again, not a heavy jeweler because they don't have that plastic thing. The plastic thing is supposed to protect their necks and their chest from the, all that liquid. These came with these two headbands. Yeah. And then this headband came with the outfit that I'm going to show you later on because it's a bigger size. Then the newborn stuff. All right. Along with some socks. Mom picked up some socks. She should be absolutely great with socks now. Because that makes what? She has what? Six pairs? Six pairs in here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now. So she's definitely good with socks. She should be all set. So these are the newborn long sleeve onesies. Um, let me show you. And two two. Sorry. These are the onesies my mom got. These are the Gerber brand. She has this one. This one. My daughter likes this one because she's a tie dyer. This one. And a hello. Hi, doy. Oh, dear. And then she got this cute little outfit that we are thinking that should be her go-home outfit now. 
Oh, you're on that box. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the pink little outfit with little teddy bears. I don't know if you can see the teddy bears. They're so cute. And it comes with a little hat. Yeah, that's just, that's just the one. I think this one's going to be the one. And then this one's my daughter's in the room now. And the bib that says, welcome to the world is so cute. My the only thing is, it's a newborn. My second. Wait. Hold on. We're going to go through that one. Oh. Thank you. Give me a second. The only thing is, it's a newborn size. And I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did with my daughter, Mia. Malia was seven pounds, four ounces at birth. I bought her a new porn, a newborn outfit. And when I said I was about to cry because that thing didn't fit properly, like it was so tight. I felt so bad for my little baby. And they're predicting this baby to be eight pounds. So she's definitely not fitting newborn if she's eight pounds. So I'm gonna bring it just in case but i'm gonna bring it an alternate that my daughter has picked out already i think we picked out a green one that has the, the fold over hands as well so i'm not making that mistake but i think this is so cute it's adorable i'm gonna bring it just in case all right and then my daughter wants to show what size is it so all of that was newborn this is now coming into the three month size hold on let me make sure i get all the three months first Sorry guys. They're all so cute. They're just piled in the box, so bear with me while I get this all together. Okay. So my daughter wants to show you her favorite. This little sister. So my daughter is super excited to be a big sister. Okay, don't knock over the camera though. I love the color of this. I love that it's purple, I love that it's peach, I love it's pink, I love it's green. It's so pretty. Um, we're going to do a sister's photo shoot yes. when all the sisters are together because um, now there's three sisters. There's the oldest sister, Michaela. You've seen her in one of my videos before. No, two of them. I, I, I'm sure, but I'm not sure. Um, Mia, the middle sister, and mm -hmm. Madison, the baby sister. We are going to do a photo shoot. All three of us. The next sleeper is this green one. It's really light. Um, so she definitely gonna need a onesie underneath this because it's really thin, but it'll be good for sleeping in because she can overheat and that's actually pretty good to sleep in. Then my mama said this cute little gray outfit is so cute. Here goes the top. When we first saw this, she said, that, oh, that's different. That's so cute. And then the bottoms. It's so cute. It's so cute. I ate something. Okay, good. And then some can onesies. I go, can I go down? No, she's going to come up. Oh. She got more onesies in zero three months. Here goes the first one. Second one. And lastly, the one. These ones don't have that mitten thing, but... Um, when she gets home, I'm going to file down her nails anyway, so she should be okay. Next, my mama got three to six as well. Let me make sure I get all the three to six properly. Is the rest of them three to six, I believe, or is the rest of them are three to six? Yeah. Okay. All right. So again, with the onesies, well, the, the yeah, the onesies. She got these two, this one here, and then that brand again, I'm assuming they shop together. That says, thank heaven for little girls. I got two beautiful little girls and I'm so happy. Then she got this set, also from Little Beginnings. Came with a hat, which I think goes with this that, that little, little girls from heaven one, and this onesie here. Um. It's for three to six, duh. This sleeper, the fleece sleeper, three to six is actually when she's actually gonna need the, the, the fleece sleepers because in Georgia, it's when it's January, February, it's when it's really cold. Um, so these will actually come in handy during that time. And that's a great time to worry about them. 
And then she got three pants for her, which can go with those onesies. I love the jogger bottom style. It's so cute. So dark pink, light pink, green. I love this one. This is this is the outfit that's telling you goes with that that headband. It is so cute. Absolutely adorable. Next is accessories along with blankets. So my mom got her a little doll. It came with a blanket. I'm gonna show you that blanket in just a little bit. And a toy, which my daughter kindly brought to my attention that can go with one of her outfits that she has right now, which is the outfit that she picked out. It's not in there. I, I, yeah, but it has the hat. Okay, let me bring the hat. It's the outfit that has the flamingos on it that goes with this hat. It's in the closet. Put that yeah. back. Oh, I forgot. All right. Then my mom got us some receiver blankets. You can never have enough of these. She got one, two, three, four. Four of them. Four of them. Great. I, like I said, I use these for when people are come over to hold the baby. Just put across your chest so like whatever perfume you have on does not go on the baby it goes on the back of this receiving blanket and we're good to go then she bought these beautiful thick towels that my daughter kindly brought to my attention are honest because the pattern matched the the wipes which when i check the tag it's definitely honest these are thick okay thick arms she got two of these <clears throat> I am, I was like, I'm not even gonna use my towels. Like, what am I gonna use my towels for? The towels I bought, this towel's fire. And then lastly, yeah. this super, super soft blankie with crowns and tiaras on it. It is so soft. It's so soft. So now that brings her total of blankets. Hey ma'am, thank you. That brings her total of blankets up to what? Two, three, four now? Four blankets? Or maybe 18 or maybe four. No, it's four. Four, four thick blankets because one's on her bed right now. And then she has two in her jaw. I'm sitting right beside the jaw. I can't even just look. No, it's five blankets because she has three in her jaw and one on her, on her bed top. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all of this stuff, pack them away. Um, later on this weekend, I will be packing my bag, so I'll go over that with you guys later. I'm now going to call my, my daughter's friend that wants to come upstairs and play with her, clean my house. I need to go to Target. And I'm going to paint some of these letters and then stick them on up after they dry. So again, thank you so much for watching. It's a, hopefully, this was a short video. Um, every time I say it's a short, it's going to be a short video. It ends up being like a half hour long. Oh, Hopefully this was a short one. I am dying over here of just heartburn and burps. It's like literally compressing my chest. My just Madison's sleeping at the moment, so she's just sitting on whatever she's sitting on that just I'm making I'm me not breathe and I don't want to hug her. Either. Don't wake her up. The quick, quick aside stories. I'm mm -hmm. gonna band. Malia and her father went away from me. Away <laughs> from bothering this baby when she sleep. Like every is every time, y'all. I'm like, oh, reprieve. Someone's not kicking me in my in my rib. No one is stretching out my my, my abdominals. No one is turning their head and putting pressure on my 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 bladder. And then they come, Madison or Maddie poke or kick if listen i'm gonna fight them both of them no when she's here don't touch her she's sleeping okay she's sleeping right or now if touch her head. don't touch her she's sleeping don't touch her she's sleeping don't touch her what if this is they bother this baby and wake her up and then leave, leave her alone. I want to hug her. And then leave, and then, and then I'm left with the kicking child. Yeah, 
I like and her, pain. I like I like her and hard massages. Those are good. Those are great. They ain't great for mom, but those are great. That was my quick aside of my rant. I'm gonna have to keep the shallow away from these BB people. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching. I heart you much as always. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace out.